There are also two methods of control with thermostats. The first is temperature offset, where the set point of the thermostat is raised by a certain amount, often four degrees, for the duration of the event. This gives a large load drop at the beginning of the event, but then as the, after the home reaches the new set point, the contribution is very, very small. One analogy would be if one got into a car and pushed a pedal to the metal, went as fast as they could, and then uh, slowed down to an idle for some period of time. That's what happens with, with temperature offset. You get a lot of load up front and then very little th throughout the rest of the event. Um, this is a disadvantage from a customer's perspective because it tends to be more uncomfortable because the temperature rises as quickly as it will uh, with no air conditioning at all. Uh, and also from the utilities perspective, the load is not predictable. It starts out high and, and ends up low and there's no uh, way to tell how, how it's going to work in, in between. At Converge, we offer both temperature offset and adaptive cycling to control thermostats for demand response. We usually recommend to our utility customers that they go with the cycling approach for two reasons. The first is the flat response throughout a long control period, and the second is for customer comfort during, the, during events, which leads to fewer dropouts from the program and hence a more efficient program overall.